As you can see, we have the standard class and export default of all aspects within, the cl within this class. We begin by defining the elements we intend on interacting with for this given page. In this case, we establish the menu option, sub option and header. Following this, we proceed to create the methods within this class that we will utilize the elements that we have declared above for the corresponding actions we want to perform. We start with the menu option click. Also, to make this method multi-purpose from the parameter passed down from the feature then to the step, and now this method through the option variable in circular brackets, we shall utilize a switch statement. This will allow us to have multiple paths to click further future menu options that we would like to add in. The structure to a switch statement is as followed. You start with the keyword switch, then circular brackets, braces, then the keyword case followed by the value for this path, in this case content. Then colon followed by the action you want to occur, in this case the click function for this menu option. And to end we utilize the keyword break followed by a semicolon. You can repeat this pattern for multiple different avenues for your code to go down based on the value passed to the option, but also have a default path as well symbolized with the default keyword for any edge case situations. We shall then proceed to add the menu sub option click method following a similar structure to the original the click method we've just done followed by a general content assertion method dedicated to this assertion. 